Hello, I'm Nick Offerman, and this is my Martin story. Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of behind the rest of the class when it comes to knowing about good guitars uh, or knowing how to play a B chord. In fact, I'm still working on that particular quiz. Um, when I first moved to Los Angeles, my friend and I would go see a band called Cowboy Nation. It's Chip and Tony Kinman, and they had had previous bands called Rank and File and Blackbird and a, a couple other bands, but at some point uh, in the late 90s, they decided on the cowboy form, and they were terrific. Uh, Tony had an incredible bass voice, and he would also play the bass, and he was the lead singer, and Chip was an incredible acoustic guitar player, and he would sing harmonies. And we were just crazy about them. You know, they did Streets of Laredo and Back in the Saddle and, uh, and so forth. And um, we'd go see them at the Gene Autry Museum in, uh, in Griffith Park out there in Los Angeles. And that was when I first saw somebody in person playing a Martin guitar in a very incredible way. Uh, I was very impressed and thought... Uh, I would love to one day play songs and entertain people on such a guitar. And I even took a few lessons from Chip. Uh, we met him. We were, we were uh, successful groupies. We were able to buy them a, a soda pop now and again. And he taught me uh, a few things. I'm, I'm still chasing him. He's way ahead of me. He's many floors above me in the Tower of Finger Picking. Um, but he gave me a, a hardcover coffee table book about Martin guitars that I read and looked at the pictures and, uh, and learned as a woodworker, I was interested in the story of George Groon and how uh, he would repair the guitars and how he learned over the years from uh, all the repairs that he did of the classic sort of golden era builds. Um, he sort of learned how to, you know, to take all of the ingredients and the components that made for the best guitar going forward, and apparently he's, he's still at it. Uh, I hope to shake his hand at some point. But, uh, so it's, you know, it's always been a sort of a fascination with me. Uh, I'm a student of the guitar. I, when I play and, uh, and sing songs for people, no one, I just, I've noticed that nobody ever asks me to play music because they think it sounds nice. Um, if I uh, if I plan a, an event where I uh, I intend to make people laugh and I happen to be, be playing the guitar for some of the time, they seem to tolerate it. So that's uh, that's my level of expertise at the moment. And um, eventually, uh, my wife bought me this guitar for Christmas. Uh, it was before we really knew what we were doing. We went to a guitar shop in L.A. And she bought me the prettiest guitar they had, which was this Martin uh, D45 VR. Uh, the V refers to the V-shaped neck. Um, it's a beefy neck. Uh, if you have done a lot of labor or used a lot of uh, hand tools in your life, they have this V-shaped neck. It's for clumsy people. Um, and then the, the R in the VR refers to this red spruce top, which is just beautiful. Um, so this, this was my Sunday guitar. I, I keep it uh, polished and sitting at home, and I'm, I'm always nervous to take it on the road, but I have it with me. This time I'm playing at the Ryman tonight, in fact, which is embarrassing to say, since I just revealed that I can't even play one of the, one of the major chords. Um, and I have at least four songs with a B chord. So you know what you do when you, when you get to that B chord? You just kick out a little rhythm. And that's Showbiz. This is uh, Nick Offerman with Showbiz Lessons and my Martin story. Thank you very much. <laughs>